Hey, Soul Family. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for your patience while I was getting internet. It's been a long few days, let me tell you. No TV. I, I could only watch my phone for so long because I had to use my readers. So I had plenty of time to myself. Enough about me. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for your patience, the views, the likes, those comments. Thank you so very much. I appreciate everyone. Let's just jump in. Let's find out what the message is that Spirit has. Now this background is changing because I ordered a desk. So everything is going to be shifted in a few days. Someone is excited about something. Someone is really excited about something. They they can't wait to say something. Because I barely picked the bell up and they were already spilling the tea. Let's find out. Bottom of the deck. Memories of love. But look underneath, there was partnerships and alliances that we're trying to show. So this is someone who is having fond memories of someone else. They're, they're thinking of the good times and they're telling the stories and they're like, yeah, yeah, well, you know what? Well, you know, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. About someone else. You're talking about this person's spiritual strength. How incredibly strong and courageous, how incredibly strong and courageous this person is. Just talking about how patient this person is. That no matter what, this patient, this person doesn't get rattled. They just wait it out. They they have so much faith and they cast their worries and they wait. They're talking about how this person can manifest anything. This person puts their mind to it and next thing you know, they have it. If they want it, they're going to get it. If they really want it, they are going to get it. It doesn't make a difference if it's a job, if it's a place to live, if it's a particular car, if it's how they how they have their inside of the house. Whatever it is that they feel that they need at that time, they find a way to get it from the smallest things to the largest things. And they talk about how this person, how they remain prayerful. How this person always tells them to pray. How this person always lets them know that the battle is truly the Lord's. It's not there. This person is, is thinking about <clears throat> this person, these memories, it's good, loving, gentle, kind, exciting, where I belong, memories. And at the bottom we have victory and success. This person has come a long way. They've learned a lot. And in the end, they found that they have to choose wisely. Always. Always with everything. Because if not, they will experience an emotional loss. And that's what they went through is an emotional loss. But not only did they go through this emotional loss, 
but their heart chakra was finally opened. At that time, they finally knew what true sacrifice was. And they were trapped in fear because they knew that they had not shown any true sacrifice or any sacrifice at all. They acted like they couldn't see anything that was going on when someone was doing the best that they could with what they had or, or someone was trying or someone was reaching or... They, they acted totally fucking disconnected. Left that person suffering in silence. Left that person in heartache and loss. This is the same person that had to finally end up standing their ground. Because they knew the truth. More importantly, they spoke the truth. The same person is this person that they are having these fond memories about. The same one that they had to learn these lessons. That they had to step up to the plate. Understanding that nobody's going to go back. Nobody's going back. If you want it, you got to go after it. Because it ain't going back. Someone has made a wish. That the growth that they have made, the growth that they have reached, the sacrifice that they have finally made, finally understood what true sacrifice was. It's their wish that it's enough. It's their wish that they can go back. Go back to this person that they were having these fond memories of because they understand one thing for certain and two things for sure. This person stood, stood ten, ten toes down for them all the time. What's the message? That sacrifice card tried to come out, but it didn't fall. Rebellion in the past of prison. This person is understanding them, them trying to go against the grain, them trying to just be that type of person who was holding the grudge, looking at the past, refusing to let shit go. They weren't noble enough to be with this person because this person, it was otherworldly. This person, like I said, spiritual strength always prayed, was able to manifest so patient. Like, they just knew it was going to come. They knew it was just a matter of time. This person was able to resurrect themselves over and over and over, even though they tried to sacrifice this person. Even though they cast this person as an outsider. This person still... Spread love to everyone.
they knew they weren't as noble as that person, but they know they had to step that game up. They had to come up. They had to increase their spiritual knowledge. They had to increase their spiritual maturity, their emotional maturity. And right now they are thinking about how in the past they refused to, they refused to forget. They refused to forgive. They refused to look past. Every mistake that this person made, they held it against them. They had a running tally. Every time there was an argument, this person would say, well, you know what? <clears throat> Remember whenever this and that and the other? Well, you did this and you did that. Every transgression that was ever made this person brought the shit up. But they conveniently forgot about their own. They've conveniently forgot to bring up the shit that they did. Maybe it's short term memory. Maybe it's not. Maybe this person just had some type of God complex to, you know, they could just see the best in themselves, but they could see the absolute worst in everybody else, though. Woo! We, Bruce Lee. They could see the worst in everybody else, but they could only see the best in themselves. That's it. They could not see the monster within them. They couldn't see. They was blind, blind. So they could read a book. They may even have glasses. They could even drive a car. But as far as them being able to see anything about themselves, that motherfucker was blind. Like they say, blinder than a bat. And I don't know if bats are blind or not, cause I'm not even trying to find out. But that motherfucker was blind. There's even people. And everybody knows. Everybody has seen the shit that this person has done. Everybody has seen the shit that this person has done. And they said nothing, though. They chose not to say a word. Um. This person right here, that person right there, they were living in a nightmare. A nightmare. They were with people that were purposely against them. Because they didn't, with this anti-hero, they didn't like the fact that this person was so spiritually connected. They hated it. If they could have just ripped it off, ripped it out, shook it out. Why couldn't they believe the same thing that Everyone else believed. Why couldn't they see everything the way that everyone else sees it? Why do they have to be the one with the light? Why do they have to be the one with the, with the calm, with the patience? Because in Every picture right here where there is a person, that person has their eyes closed and they are all in prayer. And 
they don't like that. They don't feel comfortable to touch you. They don't feel comfortable because you have this ancient wisdom that they fucking hate that you can see right the fuck through them. Just like I hear that song, move, get out the way, get out the way, punk, get out the way. It's because these people feel like you can see directly through them, almost like you don't even see them at all. Like you would just walk straight into them because you can see the innerness of their soul. They feel that you are immortal. They feel that you have been here before. They feel that you have some type of knowledge that lets you know that you needed to have separated yourself away from what they felt, what they thought, what they believed, what they looked at, what they held precious and pure. You had a certain type of discipline that they did not have, and they knew it, and they knew it. Every fucking time they tried to tear you down, every time they tried to destroy you, misuse you, abuse you, confuse you, you figured it out. You figured it out. You figured it out. What they really didn't like was with the call of the knights. You were daring. You were adventurous. You didn't do as they told you to do. You did what God instructed you to do, led you to do, and guided you to do. You followed your inner guides, your ancestors, your spirit guides, those that you trust, those that you've always trusted, and those are the only ones that you've always trusted. Because these others, they've led you astray too many times. There was one too many, too many. Bottom of the deck, two of staffs. Your own direction. Planning something. What's the message, Spirit? Planning something. What's the message, Spirit? Page of coins. Something new. It could be something new about maybe a job. We have the emperor. Or it could be some communication from an emperor coming in. Maybe Cupid's arrows. Somebody that you're not expecting. Communication you're not expecting. But we did say that at the beginning that it's like someone can't wait to talk to you. Someone can't wait to say something. This is a lot of cards. I told you someone's hoping they are wishing. 
they saw they were looking up in the sky one night and they saw a shooting star. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. And they wished for you. They want to be able to build with you. They want to be able to work with you. They want to be able to communicate with you. They want to be able to do things with you. They they don't want you to be just single anymore. They want this to be a family again. They have had time to think, to heal, to pray. They've taken time to pray, and they've taken time to do what they needed to do in order for them to be able to make a positive step in your direction. This person is completed some major life lesson. They learned some things. Not only did they feel like a fool after everything crumbled, not only did they look like a fool, but now they know that they, they left that all behind and they're starting over. They want to start over with you. They want a fresh new start after learning all of these valuable lessons. They now know what's up and what's down, what's left and what's right. They are now understand that, you know what? It's these people that got them all fucked up. They found, they fucked, they found, they fucked around and they found out that these people did not have their back. These are the ones that helped to stab you in your back. It's like you, they, they see now how nothing, absolutely, and when I say nothing, absolutely, positively, motherfucker, nothing touched you. Nothing touched you. They wondered how the fuck that that shit happened, but they understand now because you were so protected. There's something about you, and this person knows this now. They may not have known it before, but they sure as hell know it now. They've been looking at you, everything that you do. Everything that you do. Everything that you do. They've been listening to everything that you say, and they've been watching you grow and succeed. This person is, like I said, they, they're in awe. It's like they're, they're so proud of you right now because they're thinking, you know what, yeah, you know what, and they have to send you all the other sudden, yeah, now they can't talk you up enough. But before, they couldn't figure out anything good to say about you. But this person, they realize now that that was them. And it had nothing to do with you. They realize now everything that they put out came right back to them. But those those battles that they were fighting, those were not, they were fighting those battles with you. Those are those battles they were fighting with themselves. That's what this person had to figure out. I feel like you helped this person to figure this shit out. You helped this somebody to figure out, you know what? You ain't mad at me. You mad at you. You mad at you because you ain't do the shit that you could have been doing, that you should have been doing for you to do to, for you. But you want to get mad at me because I'm doing me 
And I'm enjoying being me, doing me, loving me, appreciating me, applauding me, cheering me on when you chose to tear me down, but you want to get mad at me. See, someone is thinking about the path that they chose. You know, especially in the path. I mean, in the path. In the past. They're thinking about the path that they chose in the past, thinking that was going to give them the wish fulfillment. That was going to give them everything that they ever wanted. As long as they stopped you from reaching anything that you ever wanted to fucking reach. But now they see exactly how fucking strong you are. And no matter what they tried, this shit didn't work. You kept going on. You kept moving on. And you made it to the finish line. Not only did you make it to the finish line, this person saw you work extremely hard to get there. And you were just as kind and loving and thoughtful and caring and good mood and funny sense of humor. You looked cute. You know, you tried to keep your hair up, you know, all that stuff, you know, whatever, generally speaking. What else, spirit? Yeah, this person they see that they thought the chips was going to come in. No, them sheets was like, oh, you want to treat collective like this? You want to treat this soul family like this? Let, let's show you how the game is played, motherfucker. Them ships, them ships is leaving and you, and you ain't getting shit. Notice how I accentuated that yeah on that word. I was practicing while I didn't have any internet. Practicing my curse words. So you're going to notice that they come out really strong and accentuated. Really pronounced. What else, Spirit? What else? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What else? Yeah. Two of Swords with the Four of Staffs. This person did not realize the decision that they made is going to mess up their entire home life they, they it was like they didn't care that, that they they was messing you up they didn't care they, they, they didn't they, they can't make this shit up they didn't care that they was messing you up but when it came back on them that's what made the difference that's what woke them up not when they was doing it but when judgment called then that's when they, we, they woke up and wanted to get some healing because they saw when judgment called when that horn was blown and they looked up and they was looking at you and here you are this earth angel right over here not affected <clears throat> Still happy? You like, oh here, let me pour you some water. Yeah, let me pour you some. No, I got some more. I got some more. They was like, oh my gosh, this person is like they have unlimited everything. Like, did this person win the lottery and we didn't know it? Is this person is this person selling ass on the side to make their bills? Because they surely couldn't just be doing all this by regular working. And I wonder if they got a, a pimp or a job. They selling something illegal. They are selling something. I mean, this person is trying to think of everything. Like, how are you making it? And now they struggling. How are you doing it? But they barely making it. Why are you? Well, we moving on up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. 
And why are they like sitting here, like trying to talk to the creditors? Like, well, you know, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to rob Paul to pay Peter, and you know, it, it's just, it's kind of hard this month. But if I can get a little bit extra time, I sure would appreciate it because right now I'm under a lot of pressure. They wonder how, how did the shit just like flip one day? One day they went to sleep and they was like, yep, they checked their bank, they bank balance. And they said, yep, all is right there. It's right there. That next day they checked, they get up and they checked their bank balance and they said, what the fuck? Where did all my money go? Um, but I barely got any money in there at all. Where's all my money? And the other person is like, oh my gosh, I've been blessed with another gift. Who knew? Oh, every single scratch off that I bought within the last week, and I've only bought 17. All of them have been at least $300 or more winners. Oh, who knew? Dear God, please let me be the one to have that luck. Please let it be me, because I'll buy a scratch off just to see. Let it be me. Mm. Everybody was like, oh, I hope that's me. I hope that's me. I hope that's me. What's the message, Spirit? What's the message? <laughs> What's the message? Oh, thank you. Yeah, this person now is thinking about this relationship and how they had the nerve to put you in a whole different category. Like, they put you on pause. Like, they didn't really see you for who you was. But they see who you are now. Now they see. They ain't got no problem seeing. Now they know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They know. They know. They know. Now, they want to go ahead and, uh, you know, maybe come back together with you. You know, smooth some things out. Let bygones be bygones. You know, even though they was trying to create some shit, you know, conjure up some, you know, you know, some some shit that, you know, was going to have you off your path. And But... And they know that's the truth, and they know you know that's the truth, and everything, and they then thought about it and everything. However, now they see, and they've been looking at you, that you coming up off on your, uh, you know, your change. And that changes everything. That changes everything, how you coming up on your change changes everything. See how that word kind of goes together? Your change changes, which changes the change that they had changed, you know, back in the, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all know what I'm saying. But you already know the two. You are very clear with what the fuck is going on. And you already know this person is just trying to come back to get some and then, you know, do some old shit right back on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that bullshit. If we had time for bullshit, we will go to a bull pasture. Wherever bulls are at. We will go out there. What's the message, Spirit? Anything else from this deck? Anything else from this deck? Anything else? Yeah. Well, you think? Now this person feeling all trapped, stuck, not really understand, not knowing, not knowing that they should go. Yeah, they just feeling really weird. They feeling like they they put themselves in a really bad position, you know. Especially whenever they figure out really that they love this person and they understood stand now that this person is a high priestess. It's just that it was like this internal fear that they had about this person. Like, I really can't do nothing because this person can see everything I'm doing. Well, then don't co try and do nothing stupid. Okay. 
You feel me? You, anything sinking in? If you don't do anything that's below board, you don't have to worry about covering anything up. If you do stuff where it's above board, you good, you golden. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but correct me if I'm wrong. This is not rocket science. Hell, you don't even have to have no college degree. You ain't even really got to think about this shit. This is just like common fucking sense. Do right and right comes back on you. You do wrong and you know what is getting ready to hit the fan, that old stanky doo-doo. Bottom of the deck, we got this queen of wands. What's she talking about? What is she talking about? You know, maybe this is somebody that got something negative to say about this person over here. Ooh, ooh. About this angel. Ooh, you y'all saw the card try and fly over there. So we're gonna put this card on over there. So somebody had something negative to say about this angel. Something negative to say about the angel. How dare them! Oh, they were sitting there saying, she ain't that given, or he ain't that given. They ain't all that. They ain't all that. You know, yeah, they may have done this, and they may have that, but they create their own shit, you know. They listen to that. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what? Uh, I really don't think they really making all those moves themselves, and this and that and the other. And they don't want to admit that you are a fucking emperor. They are sitting here trying to act like you ain't all that in a bag of chips. But this King of Cups is getting some type of strength from somewhere because they they understand that they they need to they need to go back with this spiritual person because it's so their wheel of fortune can start to turn in their favor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else, spirit? What else? Yeah, somebody, it's like they, they, they understand, you know, I feel like how they did this, this, this person, this empress, this angel, this person that is not even, that is so connected to God that people just like, they can't stand it. It's like they try and purposely try and. Do stuff to get in the way. And this person is that, that Queen of Wands. She's sitting there talking about this, talking about that, you know, lying and everything. But really, all she's doing is showing everyone who she truly is. That's it. And everyone is sitting around her looking at everything crumble. The Wheel of Fortune going in the reverse way of where she wanted it to go. Cause she, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this uh, was this Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody having some. Uh, this I'm to, this person is sitting here lying. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. But this person is sitting here lying, spreading gossip, rumors, all that, all that bullshit about this person who is a star. It's like this, this they, 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 they wanted this person to be left out in the cold. That's what they really wanted. They wanted that person to be left out in the fucking cold, but they're really finding that they're being the ones being left out in the cold. Because everybody's able to see who that star really is. They're able to see that person is happy. You know, stands out. Always stood out was always about love, always about showing love, showing appreciation. Anything else?
anything else. Ooh, the lover's card wants to come out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this person is thinking about all of this now. They are really in their thoughts. They are really in their thoughts. They're thinking about, I mean, you know, how they, some of the stuff that they did, they was doing the most, doing the worst. Because they wanted this person to be left out. They thought that leaving this person out would make them happy. They would be happy with, happier without that person and everything would be great. But that's not what happened. That is not what happened at all. It was the exact opposite. They didn't calculate that when this person left that they were going to take the son with them. They didn't know that. But they found that out. They found out they created their own blockage because it was their own confused way of thinking. It was their confusion it fucked them up. And now they're having to work. Work on themselves. This is something they wanted to do. This is something that they needed to do. Ultimately, this is something that they had to do. Because they sat there and they watched you. They watched you graduate. They watched you move forward and move on and enjoy the rest of your life without them. All because they allowed their ego to get in the way. Now, like I said, they're sitting here talking about you, the type of person that you are. And now they are sitting here painting you as the earth angel. And they are so, they feel like they are so pleased, so privileged to say that they know you personally. To be able to say, to, to rattle off statistical things about you because that, that, that proves that they know you. That proves that there's some connection, right? That proves that, that that person may have known you. But it doesn't necessarily prove that they're necessarily connected to you at this time. But they don't want anyone to, to know that. Something about somebody being jealous. Because prosperity has been coming to you. That's why they're jealous. Someone is upset because now they understand that they were listening to and believing a liar. And they were just doing this with their eyes tightly shut. They were afraid to do open up their eyes and see the truth. They find that they have to actually find themselves. Everything that they tried to wish on you, they now know it was the boomerang effect. That it was coming back to them. They know it. It was funny until it wasn't funny. 
the stuff that they were doing, they laughed until they cried. You know? And now they, they're finding that there's nothing wrong with therapy because now they understand that they really, really, really always needed the help. It's like their guilt is eating them up. You know? This could be somebody that's married or something that happened when somebody was married. You know, maybe this person was smiling at everybody's face, you know, trying to oh, cheese and everybody's instead of them being grown up. You know, maybe somebody, they just had these daydreams that they refused to give up, you know, refused to, to, to understand. They, 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 they thought that they were this and you were that. But they believe who you are now. They are a believer in who you are now. Because no matter what you did, you always were able to surprise yourself and get the shit done. No matter what you, no matter what you went through, no matter what they tried, how they tried to hold you down, hold you back, step on you, even when you were down, they were still trying to kick you when you were down. You still got up and said, I got to go back to work. Dusted yourself off. I got a job to do. <clears throat> Ugh, move. And they're amazed because no matter throughout all that, you never sought revenge. You never sought to get back at anybody. You always put that energy towards yourself and you kept moving the fuck forward. You didn't even look at them, didn't even think about them, didn't give them the fucking time of the day. And that's the shit that they didn't really like because you didn't. Them. They are easily distracted and they wanted you to be easily distracted. But you said, oh no. There ain't no there ain't nobody you if I if I find something interesting or I hear something interesting or I see something interesting, I'ma stop. But until then, I'ma keep going. Back to fucking work. They understand now that you have some very heavenly hosts around you. And they know that you've already cut the cord. When they saw you go back to work, they saw you clip that motherfucker and then throw them damn scissors, light that match, torch that motherfucker, and then get back to work. Something about the first house of some of, of self. Yes. Somebody got super triggered. But you know what we say when people get super triggered? We don't give a damn. So the fuck what? They got super triggered because you went and you planted seeds elsewhere. That's why they got super triggered. That's why they didn't like that shit. They knew that you said, this shit is over. That's what upset them. That's what made them really want to get back at your ass. How dare you? They didn't say that the game was over. How dare you just end it prematurely like that? They didn't even get to do half the shit that they had planned to do. They were, they were expecting you to fall for any and everything that they wanted to do. And your ass didn't even fall for that. How dare you? Their own spell work took them out. That's 
why they're upset with you because you were unbroken. That's why they're mad. They were trying to trigger you, but they got triggered instead. Something about you standing in your damn convictions. You know who and you who you are. Something about you can't be stopped. Something about you got really good energy. They so tired of hearing about you and your good energy. This could be your family. They wanted an ending for you. This could be even somebody that's not even in your family, but just around your family, a third wheel enemy. They betrayed you and now they are super duper stressed. And guess what? They ain't your friend. They was never your friend. Never your friend. But something about grandma's house. Something about grandma's house. There's a clue there about grandma's house. I'm going to leave it right there. I am still trying to reach my goal of 2000. If you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the Soul Tribe. Thank you so very much for being so patient. Don't forget on Sunday, we're going to be doing a Sunday live. Since I have a really great internet connection, y'all. Bring your questions. No donation expected. But if you'd like to give one, that's fine, but none expected. Thank you so very much, and I'll see you soon, and I love y'all.